Hi everybody, it's Alita from Science Stars here to do some hands-on fun science with you today. So I have Kevin and Kian, and they're going to be my helpers today. And what I'm going to do today is I am going to try to trick their senses. So we are going to be using our sense of touch, but I'm just wondering, can you boys tell me what our other senses are? Uh, what are they? Hearing, seeing, tasting, feeling. Yeah. So a sense of touch? Yep. Hearing. Smelling. Smelling. Smelling, hearing, uh-huh. Uh, seeing. Seeing, sight, uh-huh. And uh, taste. And taste. Was that the five of them? Yes. Yeah. Five. yeah? Good stuff. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the sense of touch. So what we need today is water, three different temperatures. So you want water like in your bath, hot but not too hot. You want water that's room temperature, so just straight out of the tap. Um, and then water that is very, very cold. So we're going to make it really cold using ice cubes, three different temperatures and three containers to hold the three different temperatures of water, which we have here. Okay, so we've got our room temperature water here. We've added a bit of blue food coloring, um, just, to, just for a pop of color. So we'll give that a good stir. The next bit should be done by an adult. I have added cold water to a tray and now I'm adding water from the kettle. So very careful not to burn yourself. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick test. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. The third tray we're going to fill is going to be the cold one. So we're gonna put some ice cubes into it. We'll also add the food coloring to this one. Good. Perfect. So we'll give that a good stir. So we've got the three ready to go now. Great. So we've got our hot water over here, our room temperature water here, and our cold water over here. So the first one closest to us is the cold one. Yeah. Then the middle one is the room temperature one, and the one over at the very back is the hot water. Okay, so Kian and Kevin are going to put one hand into the cold water and one hand into the hot water, and they're going to let their hands sit in the water for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, Kian and Kevin are going to put both of their hands into the middle tray, which is the lukewarm water. So. How do you think your hands are going to feel? I think the one that was in the warm water is going to feel cold and the one that was in the cold water is going to feel hot. Do you think? Yeah. Is that your prediction? Yeah, it's my prediction. Kian, have you got a prediction? I think they're both going to feel the same. You think they're both going to feel the same? So you predict your hands will feel the same because it's the same temperature of water? Well, they're both very, very good predictions. Well, there's only one way to find out, I always say in science, and that's to try it out. Okay, are we ready? Yep. Put your hands in and we'll count to 30, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys can count with me. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, hands into the middle. Yeah. The, the one in the warm, the one that was in the warm water feels cold. The show us which hand. This one feels cold and it was in the warm water. Right. And this one feels warm and it was in the cold water. So, Kim, what do you think? I think the same, actually. So, you think what? Did your. I think the one that was in the cold water is now warm and the one that was in the warm water is now cold. So, were you surprised? Yeah? Very good, okay. So let's dry our hands off and then we're gonna talk about why that happened. Your skin has tiny sensors called nerve receptors that send signals to your brain. When you put your hands in the water, your brain gets information from your temperature receptors that say, hey, that's hot, or whoa, that's cold. 
If you keep your hands in the hot water or cold water long enough, your nerve receptors get used to the temperature of the water. The room temperature water is cooler than the hot water and warmer than the cold water. So when you switch to the room temperature water, the receptors that got used to the hot water send signals that sense it as cold. And the receptors that got used to the cold water sense the room temperature water as hot. You can trick your senses again by getting three different surfaces that have different levels of smoothness or roughness. So here we have a smooth dressing gown, really, really smooth. This one's uh, a cushion, sort of medium smoothness. And here we have a towel that is quite rough. So boys, which, which one do you think is gonna feel soft when you rub the pillow? The hand that was rubbing the- The hard one, because this one's gonna be more used to the hard, so it's gonna feel softer. Okay, yeah, and I reckon the soft, you think that it, as well? Because yeah. it is soft, it's going to feel harder yeah, because it's rougher. Yeah. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to try it out. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to count to 30, okay? Ready, <coughs> set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, hands on the middle pillow. Oh, I see there. Because like, it feels really soft and hard. Which hand feels like the pillow is soft? This right, one. This that one. one. Yeah. Okay, and which one, which hand feels like it's the pillow is really soft, really rough, sorry. This one. Well, we had a great day tricking our senses. Did you trick your senses? Yeah. Did you trick your senses? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for being my helpers, Kevin and Kian. And thank you for watching this video. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye for now.